I'm going to be putting up some of this red herring right here and I'm doing it just for you. Let me tell you, this thing goes well with lots and lots of onions. Ooh, look at these dumplings. Look at them. If you know anything about rotten tongue, there be a cook run down, you know. This is home. Look at that baby. Look at it. Colors popping. Sauce is there. Glossiness is there. And every look at the color. Look at the color. On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I will share with you how I prepare some green bananas, Jamaican green bananas, and some people in other countries, Caribbean countries, or wherever, they say green fig. But we don't say green fig in Jamaica. We say green bananas, okay? Green fig maybe where you are or whatever. So you can leave it in the comment section what you call this. This is Jamaican green bananas okay but i know some people say fig but we don't say fig in jamaica so i'll be cooking some green bananas i'll be preparing that and i'll be putting with it some red herring okay this is a lot this is a small amount of red herring but i'm gonna be putting it with these little normally i wouldn't put a tomato but i'm gonna put a tomato today because i'm having it with green bananas when i'm having it with um fried dumplings or bread or something i really are from making a salmon gundi and uh, i don't really put tomatoes in there but because i'm having it with green bananas only i'll be putting a tomato to give it a little texture now with this red herring there is a video because i know people are going to say how oh, did you not show us i am going to leave at the end those at the end of this video you'll see that video you can click on it also in the description box below the video i'm gonna leave the link that i showed you in depth what the red herring looks like how you prepare it to get it to this stage it's a little time consuming there is a whole tutorial on that however nowadays i find out that you don't have to burn it anymore the skins are just totally different and just it just different you can just pour some hot water on it and you can just pull the skin off and you can eat it back then you would have to either you'd have to burn it okay and some people said the burn gives it a nice flavor but it's a smoked herring and you have the boneless one so some people might not have the time to pick the bones out you can have the boneless one but i've never had it and i'm not sure if it has the same same taste but you can if you have ever had it you can let me know if it has the same taste as this one that we have to clean up and it is from the pickled um pickled um meat or pick pickled fish in fact it is the most expensive it's more expensive than big tail more expensive than salt fish more expensive than salt mackerel and i am not sure i haven't seen shad in the longest while this is very expensive and i what you think why smoked erin we say red erin in jamaica smoked red erin I don't know if there are other earrings that is smoke, but it has a beautiful flavor, very, very, very strong flavor. But you know, from time to time, we like to have a little of this. So right on over here, I've got me my two pots. I'm going to be preparing my red earring in this. And right here, I have some water coming to a medium boil. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to be putting in some salt to taste. And in the next clip, I'll be peeling my green bananas. And there too is another video showing you how to peel your green bananas in that. So in the next clip, I'll be peeling my green bananas. Need some water. This is a little oil, and it doesn't matter. We always oil our hands, and I'm not sure if I should say use a glove because gloves are sticky. I showed you this already. So my pot is not really big, but these are some huge bananas so i'm making some water having some water i'm using my little paring knife and this is how i do it and i look for one end some people pour here they pour here but this is how we mostly in jamaica peel our bananas the banana it has a some um what should i say you know? some different and my mother used to say don't use the sharp part of the knife to peel the banana the cutting part if you have ever heard that you know i always you know when you peel it sometimes 
you have some of the green part and this is here it makes it become um it makes it oxidize so i'll show you what i'm i leave it in water so this is it it has these intervals some people cook it in the skin i have never cooked it in the skin but if you feel like you want to cook yours in the skin go ahead and you can hold it under the running water holding it under the running water helps the skin to be removed easier you see that but i normally use the cutting part but my mother said don't use the cutting part it will make the banana black i'll do one more for you and these are some really nice all green bananas so that's why i use that pot you see that so i hold it under the water the water helps it to move from the skin from the banana easily and less stain for your hands and there are different nature of bananas some are very stained and some don't carry a whole lot of stain in the next clip i'll be putting them in the boiling water so my water so I'm, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring it up now to a highest temperature i'm gonna be putting in my bananas boiling boiling water is always better for green bananas okay and when they are this like this size curved and long you just want to like have something and make sure there is enough water to cover them and i turn my flame up but i'm gonna wait on it to start boiling and as soon as it start boiling and come up to a, a boil i'm gonna reduce it and bring it back down to medium okay and then i'm gonna put some i'm just gonna squeeze a half of a lime in there right now and it helps it not to oxidize and when i do i always just leave the lime skin in there as it starts boiling on the iron i'll reduce it onto medium and in the next clip i'll be cutting up my little condiments and we'll be putting our red herring together a nice little breakfast jamaican breakfast yeah but as i said i think the red herring is so pricey but you can comment and let me know do you like it i honestly do like it i like it with fried dumplings i like it with absolutely everything I have videos there that I showed you that I mix it with Aki. It is beautiful in fritters. Next clip. So I'm gonna put together my little condiments now. As I told you, I never normally put like tomato in there. I always put lots of onion. But when I'm eating it with like the bananas, so I'm putting together my little tomatoes. I'm putting this tomato with it them up and i'm supposed to have some pepper not sure if i have scotch bonnet i might have bird pepper which is like bird pepper is like maybe like a little teeny chili pepper i'm not sure it's very hot next clip I've chopped some of the onions and I've rinsed some my green scallions which you all know if you are new here this is my go-to herb my most go-to herb or I should say one of the flavor that this gives I'm using white and I'm using the green and you're gonna see how I'm gonna do the green onions with this so on the next clip i'll be putting it together once my bananas are cooking off so my oil is here and i'm going to be using like a fraction of the green scallions to flavor the oil I want to let it sort of burn light. Turn my flame down. I want it to give the oil a sort of burnt um, flavor. The green skeleton slightly. I don't want it to burn up in it, but I want it to right through it. And if you do yours like mine when you're making it, or if you have any experience of burning your green skeletons, as you would do with your garlic, you use it to flavor the oil. And yes, at the end of it, I'm going to put. A little grated garlic in this too so now that i have it i'll flavor the green scallions i'm gonna proceed now to put my red herring in and to let it get all amalgamated with this wow 
the smoke flavor right there in with my green scallion flavor in this oil that is what is going to be happening right here right now so i'm going to do this and return onions in right now lots of onions lots and lots i have ringed some and i have chopped some but i normally like if i'm doing it for other with other stuff i would i would just ring it only so you see all how i did it i used the green scallions to flavor the oil then i mixed the smoked um erin red erin with the green scallion flavor and now i don't want my onions coming too soggy though so i'm just moving them around on a medium heat and i add my tomatoes next tomatoes and a little green bell pepper if you have another color you can do it i don't care for bell pepper too much in most of my dishes because i think for me it's just on the b that it goes well with just me that's just me oh i'm just it's just me so this dish uses a lot of onions for me that is I don't use vinegar in this because that smoke flavor i am not sure what smoke and vinegar flavor what if them really mesh together so we're gonna move it around a bit yeah because we don't want the onions to get really too much soggy we're gonna add a little black pepper off camera because who is doing this recording cannot take the black pepper so i'll catch you in the next clip just added my black pepper there I'm gonna grate in just One peg of garlic. Onions are still crunchy, but I get my flame down. Wanna add another handful of green scallions, stirring it around. And as I tell you, this thing has such a flavor. One little piece. We'll just flavor up your mouth. Then I get my flame right off right now. And I'm gonna cover it. My onions are still crunchy and nice. And that's about it. You can put some pepper. I didn't have scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet is good in this. So I use a little extra black pepper. So when you see me next, I'll have some more plate up for you. My bananas are here. Look at them. They're clean. They're pretty. They're white. They're cooking away on a medium heat. When they're cooked, they will have a different different look slightly different color and a more softer looking texture when you see me next some will be plated up just for you okay now family i'm ready to dish up some so another trick for you another tip for you and green bananas after your green bananas from after you have turned off your flame from your green bananas you leave your green bananas in the water that it has been cooked in, whether you cook it with other food, let it absorb some of that water and you will get a softer texture banana. So this was cooked and I left it for about two minutes and now I'm going to be making a plate for you. So I always use my knife and my fork. I don't really use a fork to stick it. And let me tell you, some bananas are of different nature. Mm? Some are very chewy, some are not some as they leave the water they start getting hard i don't know i've never tried green banana salad i'm not sure if i would try it because i know banana is of a very very not so much of a soft nature so i'm not sure but if you have tried it and it's okay you can talk to me tell me about the texture so no i'm gonna be putting up some of this red herring right here and i'm doing it just for you let me tell you, this thing goes well with lots and lots of onions. And as I said, because of the bananas only, and I just use the tomato to give it some texture. But there you go. There you have it. Yeah. And I didn't use with a lot of oil. So this is your green banana. Let me wipe there for you. Give them a shot down. So from my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate and most of all it is your boiled green bananas and the cooked up red herring thanks for watching